You know those defining moments in life where you can really tell a difference prior to and after that specific moment? Well, that's how my friendship with Mary Parker is. We've known each other our whole lives, but it wasn't until cheer tryouts when she was trying out for high school for the first time that we really became friends. I took her home from the cheer clinic that day, and of course we went by Sonic first, and from that moment on, my life has been better because of Mary Parker. So a little background of me and Mary Parker. It all started around fifth grade. We actually hated each other for the longest time. And this was because we realized that we had the same best friend, Frances. <laughs> Neither one of us wanted to share Frances with each other. We had to alternate weekends on who got to hang out with Frances. And then one weekend, Frances outsmarted both of us and invited us to her house. And then I guess we both realized like, okay, she's okay. So since then, we've been inseparable. From being junior high office monitors with Michael Portner, <laughs> to going on family vacations together, to me changing schools and moving to Indianola in ninth grade, to $5 all you could drink Thursday nights at Sharp Street, to me going to Mississippi State and you going to Ole Miss, to you being my maid of honor, and lastly, to you meeting your person. We've seen the best and worst of each other and still managed to stick together through it all. You are the sister I never had and the best friend I will always have. Mary Parker, I can't believe it's been two years together already. It seems like yesterday we were sitting in the parking lot at Hey Joe's waiting on our food. The two years that we have been together is nothing compared to the lifetime we will spend together. It's finally our wedding day and I can't begin to tell you how excited I am. It's been a long time in the making for me and you, especially yours. Hard work is finally coming together. Wrong. Today is the day. It's our wedding day. I've waited for this day since the night that I saw you at Hunter and Mary Best. You've always had this sense of calmness, something we both know I don't have <laughs> and probably never will. It's the calm that made me know that I wanted to be with you. I spent the latter part of my life speeding by and rushing through moments so terrified that I thought if I stop, something will happen. That was until you came along. You saved me in every single way, I stopped moving so fast and let you happen. Falling in love with you was so easy. I remember sitting in Hey Joe's parking lot, talking for what felt like hours, a conversation with my best friend, and every day since, you've been my best friend. This was when we moved, I ran after my mom died, my dad found her wedding dress in the attic and it had not been cleaned since 1983. So it was like and it was, so yeah, funny. and now it's like stark white. But he gave uh, Brian's mom asked for it to make me this, so it's really cool. Mary Parker is the kind of friend that you can count on for many things for a laugh, for a spontaneous last minute trip. Mary Parker is always there for her people. When Miss Lucy was sick, she told me to move to, move to Nashville with Mary Parker. So, what did I do? I started looking for my first nursing job in Nashville, and within a month, we were moving in together, and oh, the memories we made. <laughs> There's not many people who can say that they picked up and moved to a fun city with their best friend. Ryan, you are the person that we have prayed for for so long that she would find. You make my best friend so happy, and you love her so well, and I can't wait to see all what the Lord has in store for y'all's marriage. I think everyone in here will agree with me when I say that this is the happiest I've ever seen Mary Parker. And Ryan, I want to thank you for that. You're exactly what she needed, and I think Miss Lucy would tell you the same thing. She will also tell you that there is no return policy. <laughs> I want to start by saying, if you don't know me or Ryan, uh, you probably don't know that we've been best friends before we had a choice to be. Uh, growing up on Laughlin Road, we didn't really have a choice. Uh, you know, it was just me and him. Whether we loved each other or hated each other, we were friends. Uh, and I didn't have a big brother growing up, but Ryan kind of took over that for me and kind of beat the crap out of me until he stopped growing and I kept growing. And then he, uh, me and Ryan and Andrew, just a quick story, me and Ryan and Andrew were around Gavin last January before Mary Parker proposed to Ryan. Uh, we were, uh, 
we were sitting around the fire. We were going duck on the next morning. It's just us three, and you know everybody been poking fun at Ryan. You go, when are you going to propose to Mary Parker? When are you going? And of course, you know, we got all the same answer he'd been giving us for the three months y'all been dating, probably. And he, oh, oh, I ain't doing that yet. No, I ain't, I ain't doing that. Well, you know, Ryan probably gonna do it next Christmas. Oh no, she ain't gonna let me wait that long. But in reality, we both knew, just like everybody else standing in this room knew, we saw it coming a mile away. It's two people meant to be together. And here's to the Reddits. I love y'all. Thank y'all for letting me be part of y'all's day. God is going to make me cry, is what y'all want to do. Sit up straight. I'm old, as straight as it gets. <laughs> Don't do it! I'm not! I'm gonna keep it together. Dad! I'm gonna keep it together. I probably. You don't do it. If you do it, I'm gonna do it. Don't cry. Am I crooked? Y'all see my vest? I had to staple it in the back. Oh no! I saw a picture of Will doing it. I was like. <laughs> You know, I'm not giving you away, I'm loaning you out. Loaning me, okay. I'm just gonna loan you out for a little while. But you're always mine. Always will you look <laughs> gorgeous. Thank you. I love you. I love you. You're a beautiful bride. Thank you. <laughs> oh, happy day. Don't hit me with them eyelashes. Hush! <laughs>I'm Bill Reddit. I'm Ryan Reddit's father. Um, this was a poem that he wrote probably when he was about three years old. Third grade. Third grade. And this is kind of how it goes, and I, I hope I do, do it justice. My name is Ryan, and I like hunting deer. <laughs> Going to my hunting club brings me lots of cheer. <laughs> Riding my four-wheel around the camp, but never leaving the cabin without my lamp. I wish deer season lasted all year. <laughs> we can toast to that. <laughs> you look good. Mm -hmm. Thanks, honey. Yes. Mm -hmm. You scared? Not yet. I'm actually better now that I saw you. Mm -hmm. My gosh, I love you so much. I love your patience, your grace, your encouragement, your laugh, the way your hair looks in the morning, all of it. You make me so much better. <clears throat> you make me so much better. I am so proud of the man you are. Don't ever change who you are. The world needs more people like you. It seems like these past 11 months were a century and a flash all at once, but today is finally here. I can't wait to see you. I bet you look good, and I hope you use the good hairspray. <laughs> if not, I'll pack mine just in case. I'm so happy and so very proud of everything you have done. 
I'm so excited for these next million years together and whatever it throws our way. Me and you will be ready for. I love you more than anything in this world, so let's go get married and have fun. Love your new husband. That was really good, actually. You tried real hard. It was really good. May 22nd, 1995. I believe I was in the fifth grade. All of a sudden, you've been checked out. You have to, you have to leave school today. You're about to be a brother. I've watched you grow from infancy to where you are now. And it has been the pleasure of my life. And I could not be more happier for you finding this young man who happens to be one of the most honest stand-up guys I have ever met in my life I have no doubt that this union will thrive the day is about us just me and you ignore all the other noise you are the best man I've ever known and I can't wait to spend the rest of our lives laughing singing eating smiling and hunting plus whatever else God graces us with. Thank you for making me slow down. Thank you for making me smile. Thank you for loving me. I love you forever and all the time, and I'm still your friend and always will be. Smile big and let's do the damn thing. Love your almost wife, Mary Parker. Now by virtue of the authority committed to me by the Church of the Lord Jesus Christ, I now pronounce you, Ryan and Mary Parker, husband and wife, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Now what God has joined together, let no one dare separate. Amen. Ryan, you may now kiss your bride. Clover, you can knock on wood. It's my lucky day.